A little bit of rain won't dampen the mood today. Fifth Third Stadium in Kennesaw, it's the season finale for the Dragons of Virginia Lynchburg and the Owls of Kennesaw State. Senior day for Isaac Foster and a handful of Owls as they celebrate their last game at Kennesaw State. Thanks for joining us this Saturday afternoon. We've got both sides of the football covered with you today. Caleb O'Neill, the former wide receiver. Barkley Miller, the former defensive lineman. I'm Nolan Alexander. Nolan Alexander joined by a former conference champion, Barkley Miller, here at Fifth Third Stadium. Barkley, in speaking to both coaches, it's a similar story. Offensively, they want their team to make plays. Defensively, they both feel like they're due for turnovers. And that Wofford is 0-3 for the first time in 30 years. Kennesaw State is 0-2 for the first time ever. Excited to watch this football game. Kennesaw State will look to find its footing offensively with a new quarterback. Brian Bohannon made the announcement earlier this week that Jonathan Murphy would take over as the starting QB, replacing the consensus All-American Xavier Shepard. Murphy breaks out of a tackle. This is Murph magic. He shoots ahead. Oh my goodness. Jonathan Murphy's found his way to Sports Center. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. Gabe Binyard brings it out for Kennesaw State. Binyard to the 20. There's a hole for Binyard. He's alive at the 30. Binyard past the kicker. Binyard at the 40. The 30, Binyard drugged down from behind inside the 20-yard line. Barkley, you've called him an electric factory, and Gabe Binyard gives Kennesaw State a massive return when the Owls need it. Dragons averaging 147 pass yards per game. Blitz coming on third down, quick pass behind the receiver. It is bobbled and picked off. Markeith Montgomery, the 12th pick of his career, and he houses it for Kennesaw State. Interception number 12, pick six number two. All-time records for Montgomery on senior day. Diggs in the backfield with Murphy. On first down, play pick, Murphy on a dart. A long catch and run. Tyke Wallace is off to the races, and he wins it. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. Binyard in a tailback. Murphy. Gives it to a Binyard through the middle, a first down and more. Binyard to the 30, Binyard to the 20, Binyard with a burst, scores for the third time tonight. Give the ball to Gabe Binyard and good things happen. Oh, but he needs some tape. They had him for a tryout. Right at 4 4 40, this is intercepted. DeAndre Morris. Nothing but green grass in front of DeAndre Morris, his first career pick six. They want to find consistency. What's the best way to go about it here? I think with how much they've struggled to run in between the tackles, you have to go to your intermediate passing game. And also, you said his name. you got to get the ball to Binyard in space. I think that, that would be a big difference maker here. He's on the numbers at the bottom of your screen at receiver. Murphy looks for him to Binyard completion. There goes Binyard. It's a foot race. Will he win it? And he's tripped up with the 20. Rub the crystal ball, Barkley Miller. Big play to Binyard once again for the black and gold. I think that was the best description you gave earlier. He, he does. He plays quarterback like a linebacker. That's what his former coach Tommy Spangler said. Again, now on staff at Furman. Second and goal at the four. Huff. Play fake. Huff dances. He's in the end zone for the third time tonight. Will Barkley just complimented the offensive line? Then they all I know. had a fun start there. I've been bad about that today. <laughs> I've been bad about that today. They did. They did a great job on that run and play before. You see number 77 top of your screen. That is Fred Norman. They call him Ooh. Big Fred. Biggest player in Furman history. 6'7", 342. Second time playing against KSU. He's on the 2021 SoCon Champs ETSU. Huff dows a pass, open man Ferguson down the right sideline, puts on the Jets inside the 15 and takes a hard lick out of bounds with a first and goal for the Paladins. Our offense moving here, trying to take the lead. Murphy, play fake. Binyard is wide open, catches it at the 12. Binyard eyes the pylon and he scoots in. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. I have to quote the great Deion Sanders with this one, Nolan. 
When you see the empty hand, start the band. Nolan Alexander joined by Barkley Miller, Fifth Third Stadium in Kennesaw. Both teams coming off of losses, trying to right the ship this season. Tennessee State, only a couple third downs converted in the first half. That resulted in points, part of a long drive. They were down to their own eight. They picked up two third downs, trying to go three for three, a critical play this juncture, Barkley. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, they already feel comfortable being in field goal range, but you got to think, you put a touchdown on the board here, you're feeling really good up 10, giving that sputtering Kennesaw State Five offense the ball back. The Four receivers set. Ellis with another blitz coming. He's flushed out to the right. Ellis takes off on his own, and Ellis scampers down the right sideline. He needed to get just inside the 20, and Draylon Ellis keeps the drive alive. The third, third down conversion for Tennessee State here in the third quarter. Just a heads-up play by this young man, seeing pressure right up the middle, getting outside, using his legs. And he knew where that first down mark was, getting just enough for a big first down. And for Kennesaw State, the scrambling quarterback continues to devastate its defense here in 2023. Ellis fires to the right side. It's caught. Karate Brinson puts on a move, and he's got a first and goal. Got some more flags on the field, Nolan. Baron Hobson made the tackle at the four. I think after how they're moving, this has to be on the Kennesaw State Flag defense. But man, what a throw and catch by Ellis to Karate Brinson. And Brinson continuing to get some yak after the play, just being physical with that 6 2 15 frame. Drop the pass. Hold it. Defense. That tells the crime. Result of the first down. At the four yard line. Keys to both of these offense getting started is converting on third down. Tennessee State converts on a big third down to start the drive and just continue to move down the field. Now, first and goal from the four. On a third and 13, third and two, and then a third and seven. Ellis dials up the pass in the end zone. It's caught for a touchdown. Karate Brinson. His first scoring grab with Tennessee State as he dances the Tigers to a nine-point lead on the road. Man, if I was impressed by any dance, though, what about 55, Romello Tarver? The guy you were talking about earlier, coming back from injury, breaking it down, but just nice little quick slant here, puts it right in Karate Brinson's belly. Great throw and catch from Ellis to Brinson. And there we see the dance moves. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, sir. Breaking it down. Love to see it for the Tigers. The Owls were challenged in practice this week on both sides of the football. They have answered the call defensively early on. That's the excitement of the KSU defense after the 45-yard missed field goal by Ian Williams and Furman Barkley. Yeah, and Coach Bohan had hit on. He wanted to take a different approach this week with the guys. Ch like you said, challenge them on both sides of the football. But he said he wasn't as intense. Say so he wanted to be a little bit more laid back, let the guys kind of do it themselves and defensively it's definitely paid off now the offense just needs to pick it up string together a few first downs and maybe get in the field goal range so Murphy and the Owls take possession here missed on fourth down in their last drive it's an option play on the pitch Michael Benefield with a burst and he gains a first down and that is picture perfect from Jonathan Murphy there, holding the ball as long as you can until you make the Paladin defense make a commitment, whether it's going to be you or whether he's going to go to your running back. And as soon as he makes that commitment, get the ball in the air, get it to his hands, and allow him to explode upfield for a nice game. Longest rush of the season for a bit of field, the former Golden Line out of St. Pius the 10th High School in Atlanta. Seth Adams, the tight end in motion. Murphy, quarterback keeper, turns up field, and he's slung down into his own 46. And there again, we see a different evolution of the RPO. Instead of Murphy having the option whether he wants to give it or dump it off on a slant, there it's a designed rollout for Murphy, and he can decide whether he wants to tuck it and run as he, can, as he did there, or he can pull up and see if one of his receivers are open and dump it off to him, similar to what we saw him miss with Isaac Foster on earlier in the game. Foster, Binyard, Bohannon, the receivers. Play fake. Murphy being chased. 
throws Bohan, it's wide open, and he hauls it in near the firm at 30. And that's why they love the athleticism of Jonathan Murphy. Play breaks down, nobody's open, your pockets collapse, and he's able to get out wide enough. And then Blake Bohan does a good job of finding room, finding room. That's what they preach him in the wide receiver room. Whenever there's nothing there, you just find open space, and you're able to get your quarterback to dump it off to you for a huge first down. Son of the head coach, Brian Bohan, has catch number three of the season. Our offense moving here, trying to take the lead. Murphy, play fake. Binyard is wide open. Catches it at the 12. Binyard eyes the pylon and he scoots in. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. I have to quote the great Deion Sanders with this one, Nolan. When you see the empty hand, start the band. Saw the empty hand on that play action from Murphy. The defense sold out, are rushing to the line of scrimmage because they've been trying to run the ball all day. Huge touchdown on the backside. Right, like I said, open hand right there, play the band wide open. Big touchdown for the Owls. So back-to-back -back weeks, Murphy and Binyard hook up for six. Sixth receiving score of the career for Gabe Binyard. Connor Cummins on for the PAT. It is seven nothing Kennesaw State here in the second quarter. Talk about trying to build confidence. The Owls do that, hold defensively with a missed field goal, and then Murphy, a masterpiece. Binyard wide open, he finishes the job, and the Owls sub 7-0 here at home. 